Peace and welcome to another episode of Growing Your Own Food. I'm out here at the city plot. Doing some more maintenance. Because the plants are getting bigger. It's also getting late. So this is going to be like a, you know, kind of a rush through. But as you can see, the tomato plants are getting bigger. They need to be sticked a little better. And what else? I got another one. Okay, that's a little better. I know I need about three of them down here on the other plot. I'm gonna take an extra three just in case. I'm gonna need that one right here. So one of the mustard plants, mustard green plants, went to seed. However, doing some research and, you know, listening to other gardeners, I've heard that this is actually quite tender and tasty. So, I am actually going to harvest it and actually try it out and see, you know, how tasty and tender it is. Shoot, you never know. We could be missing out on good stuff, you know. Onions are filled in with the carrots, the um, lettuce. Uh, yeah, I need to steak that because it's all in the way. Hold on. Okay, I've kind of just staked it right there. Nothing too serious. Um, and while I was doing that, I also took the time to stake this one as well. It wasn't staked previously. But it's, you know, bearing fruit. And it's gonna do the gangster lean if I don't put it up on something. You know, this one is doing quite well too. I also just pushed the tomatoes back up in there. And I haven't quite harvested these yet. But I am going to. Because I want to try out some, um, gorilla planting tactics oh my gosh it likes it wanna rain it acts acting like it wanna rain oh me see my lettuce and my onions are plentiful I like it check it out I got beans I got beans and the eggplant is just it's just really beautiful like it's like it's liking the environment is like you no know, spots it's just looking very pretty and green so just wanted to show you the little eggplant that's on there it's cute tomato onions collard greens pepper plant is bushing back out from the bottom which is awesome we got carrots coming up in here y'all you know what I'm saying? We got a leafy green mix coming on right there. That's leafy green mix, leafy green mix. This is just a weed grass. We'll get that out soon enough. Some more leafy greens, as you can see right here. But this is weeds, leafy greens, right? Cool. So we get we did get a few okra plants that did survive. I like it. Oh yeah, and collard greens are in there still they're still doing good okay carrots coming up over here too they're looking quite fab I must say I need to like 
pin it up against that so it's like not leaning on them because it's leaning all on this collard green plant that's the other thing i had to do hold on okay fix the tomato plant how i did it like this to force it back towards the trellis so that I can train it through this way. All right, Let's see here. So yeah, just doing some garden maintenance, y'all. Y'all know how that go. Cause if you don't, things will get out of hand and then train to go that way and that's really it man that is really it oh this side here okay that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna push it up here by this side so bam we fixed it uh oh not really okay <laughs> all right look like i'm gonna need strain for that and i don't have any strain with me so on to the next the deal is looking beautiful Other tomato plant, mustard greens, carrots, and collards. A little lettuce back there, yeah. God darn old squirrels. Oh no, that wasn't squirrel, that was me. <laughs> Cause no, I do have problems with squirrels, but that was me when I made the hole the first time. Okay. Look how the carrots came up over here. Isn't that cool? I have carrots all up in there. Beans over here too. Yay. So yeah. So, alright you guys. Until the next time. Peace.